Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Fisher. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, noon, or night. I know you guys are watching this video. Hope it is going well for you. Now in today's video, we have a tutorial on how to do this borderless webcam overlay that looks really, really good, really clean. It pops um, from the color on the black background. So yeah, I thought you guys would get some use out of it. Um, and yeah, we're going to learn how to make this today in Photoshop. But before we go into that, I do want to say that I stream on Twitch almost every day, if not every day, at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you guys want to just come out, hang, vibe, chat, link is in the description below. All right, so once you are in Photoshop, you're going to want to make a 1920 by 1080 artboard. You don't have to name it anything at the moment, but, you know, for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to name this Glow Overlay just because it kind of gives it that, that glow effect. Oh, overlay there we go okay so that is made now all right and um, so if you see right now to start off this is comprised of basically just a rectangle okay that is the starter shape for this so we're going to go back over here and we're going to select our shape tool and make a rectangle it does it really doesn't matter what size rectangle you make it just as long as it's uh, as it's big enough to uh, hold or kind of sit under your webcam um, so I like that. Let's go ahead and center it with the align tool here. Okay, that's good. I like the way that looks. Uh, we're we're gonna call this webcam overlay. Boom, got that. All right, so this is the basis of it. Let's go ahead and shrink this down just a little bit. Just okay, I like that. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we are going to hit our layer, and then we're going to hit Control and Alt and we're going to just drag up right here just so we get a, another box right here all right so hit Control t to scale it down just a little bit and make sure it fits in your box okay all right so now we're going to hit Control and shift and that should bring up the uh the tools to kind of shear it back and forth so we're going to shear it to the uh, left a little bit just so we can make that little housing for the logo feel me all right I'm gonna oh, take this out just a little bit yeah okay so I like that I like the way that looks all right and if we uh, drag a color overlay over it you should see that yeah all right so this is what's gonna be cut out and we, we can honestly we can a little bit deeper with this there just like that all right so what you're gonna want to do is you are going to want to uh, make a copy of the bottom layer this black layer real quick like that and put it underneath the uh, your your original black layer your black rectangle so we're gonna go ahead and do that okay so all right so what we're gonna do first here is with the middle layer selected here the, the your original rectangle we are gonna go to uh, hit this mask button okay so that is created and then we're gonna go up to the top where we have our red little bar here and we're going to hit control and click the layer that'll make a mask around it or that'll make a, uh, a marquee around it so we can use that in in other ways click off of that right then go down to your middle layer right here and click the mask layer right that you got it all click and then you're gonna want to go into your uh, paint bucket tool this is very pertinent for this paint bucket right uh, actually no we went to uh, radio all right so paint bucket make sure black is in the foreground and white is in the background and we're just gonna click here and it should create that shape that we're looking for all right so created the shape we're looking for but you can't see it right now just because uh the other shape is behind it so if we click that off we already have that shape so that is good that is exactly what we need okay so we are uh, a little bit well <clears throat> we are starting this thing off right so what we're doing now is we are going to change the color of this background layer so it's different than the black layer that we have right in above it so uh i want a gradient from this i may not use the same gradient as before but um yeah we shall see so uh go to effects down here and gradient overlay okay 
uh, and off the back that gradient looks very very bad so <laughs> let's go and let's choose another one um, yeah let's let's go with this one just because it's it's uh, what we used in the intro and click OK and we can even change the angle that this thing sits at so I want to change it they're just like that I like the way that looks okay so this is the start of that webcam overlay I think it's I think it's starting to, to, to take shape it's starting to look really good so if you see all right we got this black background and then we got this right here the uh, the kind of the housing for that everything sits on and uh, right now we are going to make these uh, slanted lines so that your your statistics your follows your subscribes your whatever you want to show up there and show up there all right, so what we want to do is now taking this same rectangle, we can tick it back on and we can get rid of this overlay because we don't need it. And we can go control T and we can, oh, with the right layer selected, first one, control T and scale that down, scale it down. Because what it does is it keeps the, the angle kind of sat and it makes it so that we can use it. Okay, so now that we have that, we are wanting to make the uh, the box a little bit smaller, so we can do that by going to our uh, direct selection tool and literally taking this, holding shift, and just dragging that in, just like that. I think that works well, and just placing it in a place that uh, that that gives room for the icons around here. And then around here somewhere. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to just copy this over. So uh, control, well, shift and alt. Sorry. Oh, had all of them selected. Shift, alt, dragging this over, making a copy, and moving this over as such. Okay. I like that. We we honestly, we could uh, we can make, a, make this a little bit bigger if we wanted to. So delete this. Take direct selection tool drag this out just a little bit more so we can have some more space for uh, our statistics there all right back to the move tool uh, control you know uh, shift and alt if you're on PC I think it's command and uh, shift on uh, Mac I'm not too sure I don't work with Mac anymore I forgot all right so that's that we've got our two boxes for our statistics and we can just you know align these and group them together and name the boxes. Doesn't matter what we name it really. Move it up into a place that looks good. I think that works right there. Honestly, okay. That's cool. Alright, so we're we're starting to get there. Okay. So uh next thing that we would need are these icons. You can really get these icons from anywhere. Um I am just gonna drag these icons over just because for the sake of this tutorial that doesn't seem like it wants to work so we're gonna have to duplicate layer and then copy to glow overlay okay so now that's there and we have these icons here so we can put these in the perspective places star over there and then the uh, dollar sign over here all right so dude this looks really really cool I like the way this turn this is turning out so far um, I, I saw something similar to it and I wanted to kind of recreate it but have it uh, my own style to it and so far it is going well okay so that's that all right and uh, next we have uh, what could be your logo here it doesn't have to be you can literally do whatever um, but what I am going to do is I am going to make the little text line here that we have right here so go here and what you can do you don't have to do this is you can just literally take uh, one of these and drag it over take one of them drag it over and you can scale it down scale it down to where it just it hangs over the side a little bit here it lines up boom I like that and then we can literally copy this gradient overlay onto our rectangle boom just like that make sure it's reversed just so it, it matches the flow of the gradient so I'm gonna reverse that uh, so now it goes to that green to the blue to the green again 
it just it just makes it cohesive dude and you can put your name down there you can put your logo uh i am literally just gonna uh, take my logo here and literally uh just drag it over put it right here and boom we got that i i i like it i like it all right um last but not least you can put your name here and i'm just gonna call mine you know fissure because that's who i am scale it up that's super small and it can be black it can be white uh black works because you know black is one of the main colors here but yeah and that is how you make this simple webcam overlay um that that makes your stream look really really good it's different not not a lot of people have this type of overlay uh i like it you could have done this like a different way but this is how i've done it and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like it subscribe like comment please share it with somebody make sure they have a good day before we go i do want to say over again that i do stream on twitch almost every day if not every day at 9 p.m central standard time um so we play zombies we play uh call of duty modern warfare we design live on stream that is probably one of some of the most fun that i've ever had on stream is designing and letting you guys see my process and yeah dude if you have any questions hit me up my dms are always open i'm on twitter on all these social media networks and yeah see ya Peace out.